Hello, I'm Joy Fay, And I'm Eve Marie Whitson-Jones. And great that you're here today for our podcast. And it's been quite a week, <laughs> all these things that have been going on in the world. And um, I, well, Eve and I have been talking about what we would like to talk about today. And we came up with something I think that's really um, relevant, and that is painting um, our emotions into existence with our with our art mm -hmm. because I feel that and I think we all do I'm sure you agree Eve you know it's been a really traumatic week for the world yes and um, it has an impact on all of us and I think using art for expressing that um, those emotions is uh, I think we're very lucky to have art as the means to do that. Yeah. Because yeah. it can release our our trauma and our um, feelings and our upset. And um, so I think it's going to be an interesting subject to, to, to see how we can do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to say, you know, this is one of the most important, um, I think, applications of art is in... Um, a therapeutic sense, you know, to allow us to process and to work through, um, you know, feelings and, um, you know, kind of put put them down out, you know, kind of release them from outside of ourselves, and then be able to um, kind of exercise them, exorcise them, and mm -hmm. really have a way of. <clears throat> not keeping it bottled up inside and to recognize that, you know, we are having these feelings and we're having, um, you know, it's having an impact on us on, on so many different levels, you know, hmm. uh, emotionally, physically, I think, um, you know, people really do um, feel impacted um, on a physical level. And I'm sure you felt that too, haven't you this week with all this going on? Oh yeah, yeah, and um, I unfortunately I had an added trauma this week because my son had a really bad accident and yes. was in hospital for yes. five days. So um, that on top of everything else, and I have you know a lot of Jewish friends, mm -hmm. and um, you know speaking to some of them, they've had um, you know friends and uh, relations who've been in 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 part of the drama and um i think one of the most horrific things is seeing is the imagery on you know the television and i mean i've tried to not watch too much of it because it is so distressing but you yes. know a lot of the YouTube, the youtube um videos you know it's just it it's dumbfounding you, it's so hard to process Yes, but, you know, yes. we're getting on with our lives, we're doing what we do and, you know, trogging along. And yet, you know, part of the world is in this horrific situation. And, I, you know, I remember when the Ukraine war started, it was it was very similar and that's still going on. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Right. People yeah. Are still in 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 a terrible situation. So, um, yeah, it does impact us. And how do we process it what do we do to kind of i don't i don't think we can ever make sense of it no but how we how do we deal with it and send i think the important thing somehow is to be able to send out good vibes mm -hmm. to the world um you know because it's a ripple effect with everything it's a ripple effect with the trauma yes. for sure yes but it also can be a ripple effect with love mm. and two interesting things that I've done <laughs> um just because I've I have been so upset about my son obviously but also about what's going on and I've done some really um really horrible drawings <laughs> <laughs> horrible in what sense well grotesque you okay. know, just because yeah. I, I felt I felt so much anxiety 
and anger and non-comprehension mm -hmm. of how people can you know human beings can do this to other human beings it's beyond it, it it's beyond comprehension yet there are some people that are doing that i that's the part that i find really 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 difficult so i'm going to show you okay because um i'm going to start off i'll start off with this one i don't know whether you can see it uh, oh yeah okay right it's really it's horrible it's, it's like the it's like horrible faces yeah and i actually did that one all with my left hand oh interesting not my right hand yeah because i wanted yeah. to kind of get to I wanted to get to something. This was another one that was just horrid. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. And then I thought, okay, what do I want to focus on? What do I want to focus on? So I've started it and I'm going to do something with this. And what I've done. Oh, interesting. I've just, I've just written peace and love yes yes over and over and over and over again yes yes i, I kind of feel that i want i'm going to kind of do it on a canvas right and i'm going to do like a combination of writing it all out um and then doing like a collage mm -hmm. with it on top yeah yeah to to cut to, to really focus on that cuz i think it's interesting Despite the fact that these horrific people are doing these horrific things, underneath all the horrificness, <laughs> there's still a human being there struggling for a voice of something, however debauched it might be. Under all that, I'm sure they weren't born with that anger and hate. You know, it's well, been definitely developed. not. Yeah, and I mean, you yeah, know, the story behind the story behind the story, um, you know, goes back in this particular situation. You know, so many for so long. You know, and mm -hmm. I think that the the root cause of it um, is kind of buried in history somewhere. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, despite that, but let let you know, coming back to. That because okay that's happening oh, there's very little we can do about it the only thing that we can do anything about is how we feel yeah exactly and, yeah um then the impact that that has on our you know field of influence our family our partners our kids our friends our work colleagues whoever so um i think to find a level with it um this kind of drawing um and expression gives us a bit of an insight it certainly kind of relieved my anxiety of yeah. that awful nature so i think the importance of 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 um being able to express it i mean you know th these are just in my sketchbook and i've done a whole load of other ones i'm not going to go through them all but those are the 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 <laughs> The first one certainly was the, the horriblest one. And then to kind of reframe that in a different way. So I think this is a really kind of a good thing to think about in our in our painting is, you know, I talk a lot in all the classes that I do to begin with, to loosen up and to just express what's going on mm -hmm. in, in your drawing or whatever. And then getting then into the flow of what the painting's going to to be yes <laughs> yeah so um you know certainly they're not usually as horrible as that <laughs> but how did you you know I'm just curious um how did you feel after you did the first one did you feel some sense of relief or absolutely yeah you did. okay okay yeah, I did yeah because, because it, I think I think it gets mashed up in your brain you kind of go through it you see all these images you hear all the news you hear all the the awful stuff that's coming yeah and you know where do you put it we haven't got a space you know it's not part of our right makeup really but, yeah well, no. certainly in the western world it's not <laughs> um yeah 
we, we don't have a space for that. So it kind of floats around as, as horrible things. Yeah. And I feel, um, you know, just kind of getting it out there helps the process. And I think that applies to any emotional situation. Obviously, this has been highlighted this last week. But whatever emotional situation that you might find yourself in, mm. um, you know, be it your health, be it financial, be it, you know, challenges with your uh, friends or partner or kids or, you know, all the dramas that happen. And that's kind of part of life. We know that. Yes. You know. But when something highlights, it sends us up, it takes us off balance, doesn't it? I don't. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting because I'm I'm working with this um, this young lady now and um, she's clearly had quite a lot of trauma in her life. And she's an artist and she has written in journals um, a lot about her her feelings and she's drawn, you know, images about her feelings and she's really, you know, kind of put it all out there on paper in mm -hmm. mostly in, in, you know, uh, uh, you know, pen and ink format, not painting. And um, I've seen what she's drawn. And I mean, she's clearly exhibiting or showing signs that she's experienced something, you know, very dark and very, you know, unhealthy, let's put it this way. Um, mm. And yet having done that, I don't think in her mind, at least for the moment, she doesn't seem to think of it as being helpful to her. Um, she looks at those drawings and she feels worse than she did beforehand because it's kind of reminding her of you know those bad feelings and she's revisiting those bad feelings when she sees the, her artwork. So I think that, you know, so it, the question becomes, for some people, you know, maybe not for everyone, is it a good idea to do it at all? Or if you do it, do you have to also then proceed with the next step, which is the part where you did the love and peace, um, you know, uh, writing it over and over and over again to transform mm -hmm. it from something darker to something more positive? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it in, in many senses, one we've got to kind of look at our mindset about it and mm -hmm. how we're thinking. Yeah. I mean, you know, we can choose what we think. Some <laughs> people don't realize that. <laughs> well, no, th yeah. I know that, yeah. but, but that's, that, that, that's the principle. Sure. Of course. You know, yeah. we, we, you know, the whole point of, of in, 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 well, do we want to be in control or not? Do we want to, kind of get a grip and move ourselves forward sometimes you know you can be you can fall below that level and get into a, a, a stew yeah um, maybe even a depression yeah about it but at the same time we've still got the ability to do something however small that might be and I think we talked about it a little bit once before yes you know even you know, I, I I think we talked about having tasks. <laughs> yeah, yes. Well, for me, when I'm in that state, I try to give myself three tasks, whether it's, it could be the simplest things of, uh, you know, washing up. Yeah. Or making the bed. Yeah. Or having a shower. <laughs> yeah, some kind the of. Simplest of things. Yeah. Some, some kind of action. Right. In a positive because, way, yeah. In a positive way, because even the smallest of action, even finishing the washing up and putting the dishes away, there's a sense of satisfaction. Right. I like it when, you know, if the kit, if there's a load of pots and pans and all that stuff in the kitchen, it looks bloody mess. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, once yeah. you've done it, you think, oh, I've done it. And yeah. The kitchen looks tidy again. Right, right. Well, it, it's the most simple thing. But it gives you a sense of satisfaction. True. So, uh, so um, in my depths of when I'm feeling really low, if I can achieve three or four things, mm -hmm. you know, the, yes, the, of the smallest things, it changes. It changes your energy. 
because right. you've done the washing up, you put everything away, you start to feel good about that. So you can build on the momentum of feeling good about that, which will lead you into doing something else. Yeah. Which will lead you into doing something else. Having a shower, washing your hair makes gives you a change. It physically gives you a change and you can it kind of washes all the stuff away <laughs> yeah the icky stuff yeah 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 to, yes. to, to do something else yes so yes. um the fact that we have art in all its different um you know with all its different branches mm -hmm. um i think is incredibly helpful i think for those people who don't have a creative outlet it must be very challenging but maybe they have other outlets you know of of um doing other things you know it could be you know playing tennis it could be um I don't know sewing it could be anything cooking <laughs> writing whatever yeah I think if you've got an outlet then it's a positive because it can lead to it can lead to the resolve I think and, a lot of times, though, people tend to do things like, you know, uh, watch a film or uh, play a video game or um, I mean, I don't I know it sounds yes. judgmental for me to say that, but these are not things that I consider to be positive and creative. You know, they're numbing in a way, you know, they're kind of taking you out of your current situation mentally and okay fine you know I mean I think in some cases that's that's helpful because you do need to completely shift your mind away from something I mean yeah. certainly art is is a is a very I think a very valuable and a very important way of doing it and um and any kind of creative endeavor as you say I think you know would would mm -hmm. satisfy that because well, of... I, I I don't think there's anything wrong with with going numb watching Netflix or things. I, I I do that myself sometimes. You know, you can do you can have a day where you just binge watch a series, yeah, just to get your mind out of whatever mess it's in. Yes, and yes. I think that that's perfectly normal. I mean, I'm 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 sure you've done that. I've done it a number of times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I didn't Suddenly, mean it to sound like think, it was not can, a good thing. I think it's mm. something that's useful, but I think that if it's always what you do to deal with your feelings, it doesn't really let you process what's going on in the same way that doing art or doing something creative. Um, do. Yeah, but I mean, I think if you can't get to the feeling of doing something creative, mm. if you can't actually, I mean, what I do for me is I have my sketchbook in in my sitting room, okay, and a pen. So even if I'm numb watching some stuff on on the TV, I can still be doing something, right? <laughs> yeah, I okay. To, if yeah. I want to, if I'm taken that way, yeah. But I think, um, funnily enough, I think what happens is, um what's what what happened with say for, for me yesterday as a, a really good example um I spoke to my son he'd he'd come out of hospital hopefully so I could have a bit of a relief but with the relief there was a lot of emotion yeah you know it was kind of uh, yeah he's he's okay so I didn't really know what to do with that for quite a while. So I was I was watching the TV. I did a little bit of drawing. And then I switched over to, um, I was on Netflix, and I switched over to um, YouTube. And, you know, YouTube gives you recommendations. Yes, yes. And I don't know how they read your mind, but <laughs> it's astounding. <laughs> Yeah, scary too. I think, yes, but anyway. I think there's some kind of psychic energy <laughs> in, in the airwaves that suddenly throws something up at you that <laughs> yeah, you kind of think, oh my god, okay. So um, I watched uh, what came up was a, a video uh, by a really funny, lovely Irish guy. I can't remember his name on motivation. Yeah. <laughs> and he was he kind of like spoke what was in my mind that when you are when you can't 
get up in the morning when you're feeling absolutely stuck and like flatlining completely and yeah. you've got no energy and you're in an upside down inside out state what do you do mm -hmm. <laughs> well he kind of went into the science and the um to kind of break it down into different um different things that um can ha can help and obviously one of them was about doing little things which yeah. you know I, I went along with and um then he was sort of saying things like are you curious about why you're in that state oh okay <laughs> you kind of yeah. you sort of turn it on its head so instead of being identifying with the flat line yes. and the yes. I can't do anything mode try to start thinking be curious about why you're in that yes and observing yes. yourself in the flat line right <laughs> yeah exactly that's really interesting because that is definitely yeah. a message that i i try to convey to people who are kind of in that state which is don't think of it as be, uh, who you are it's an it's a thing you're experiencing experiencing you know? absolutely yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah exactly so he was kind of making that point which you know clicked to me because yeah. i know that anyway but when you're flatlining you forget anything yeah. that you might yeah. know exactly you know it goes out the window doesn't it yeah anyway so that was his first thing is um be curious about your state Mm -hmm. and then the next one was um what's the purpose of it <laughs> okay so okay. It, it kind of leads you down another path and I you know obviously in my okay times you know if you're asking yourself the right questions whatever question you ask yourself you're going to get some feedback yes you know whatever you put into google as a search in the search engine, you get some kind of answer, whether it's an answer you, you want or not. You still get <laughs> yeah, an sometimes it's not exactly what you were looking for, but anyway. <laughs> no, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But you, we're doing that to ourselves, aren't we, right, in our right. brain, when we're saying, you know, oh, it shouldn't be like this and life shouldn't do this to me and then blah, 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 all that kind of garbage that rolls around. Yeah. You know, why, 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 why is this happening? You know, this shouldn't be happening, da, da, da. So, um, so you start, you're curious about that. And then what's the purpose of it? Well, the purpose, you find your purpose in it. Well, I'm I'm having to think about something. Mm -hmm. Because when everything is schmoozy-oozy and we're all fine. Yeah. You know, the, uh, uh, we're not really challenging ourselves. True. If you know what I mean, yeah. You know, yeah. if, if we're just kind of being stroked and everything is okay, we're not in any challenging situation, so we're not forced to think about anything particularly. We might think about whatever we want to think about, but we're not thinking about it in terms of um, moving ourselves forward. Yeah, how to how to get ourselves past this moment? Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Um, it forces us to think. I it mean, does. that wonderful thing, you know, sorry to say it, but no pain, no gain. And then you, you push that onto the bigger scale. I mean, however horrific the situation is in the world, maybe looking at the big picture, something is going to happen. If you, I mean, we talked about it before, how, um, you know, those Holocaust survivors, how some of them have gone on to do the most amazing things true yeah you know that 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 pain has pushed them to heights that you know exceed all of us right yeah. and 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 it's phenomenal mm -hmm. so um <clears throat> i think if we look at the big picture in our small environments of our own particular challenges the world, you know, then go on maybe to, you know, our community and da di da di da and then the world, it forces us, it pushes us into new places because we have to think. Yeah, it's really so, interesting because I think, you know, personally, um, well, you know, 
at this point in my life, you know, I've experienced as just as as all of us have a variety of different um experience you know things that were not always very positive you know from from childhood uh, all the way through and each one of those experiences formed and shaped us to become mm -hmm. who we are today obviously um and when you're so when you're telling somebody or or you're you know when you meet somebody and you're talking about yourself and you know how did you get here why are you in portugal blah 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 you know you have to kind of tell them your story and in amongst that story there are usually episodes of you know something that happened right. to you that wasn't positive let's put it this way right and when you've gotten yourself out of that situation and you're looking at it you're looking at it almost as a third as if it happened to somebody else at least i do i tend to kind of I remove myself from it. I don't relive it. I recount it as if it happened. And I, you know, like a, like a fairy tale almost, you know, once upon a time and then, <laughs> you know, happily ever after almost quite, but not quite, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. and then, but someone who doesn't know you and, and hears your story will often kind of go, Oh my God, you know, that happened to you. That's terrible. Oh my God. You know, how come you're not in an insane asylum or how come you're normal or, <laughs> you know, all these kinds of funny reactions. And, and you realize that when you look back and you think, wow, you know, I really, I managed to pull myself out of that. And by asking those very questions that you were describing earlier, which was, why did I put myself in this situation to begin with? you know, mm. um, from a higher perspective, you know, and how am I going to get myself out of this situation? You know, the same thinking that mm. brought you into it is not going to get you out of it kind of thing, you know? No, 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 exactly. Yeah. I, absolutely. So, so the, so the, the challenges that we have force us to change. Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. With, without, without any question at all, it has to, I mean, you know, I think I would, um, I'm quite at liberty to say, you know, my life has been full of really some massive yeah. challenges. Yes, yes, exactly. And in many respects, on on some levels, it continues to be, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's not, it's not plain sailing. It's Very rarely. Is it now, is it? No. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's hard. And sometimes I can cope with it really well, and sometimes I don't. Yeah. And I think that applies to all of us. Absolutely. But, but in the times that I don't, um, I'm forced to think about why it's not working. Mm -hmm. And then in the times that it is working, to try and remember to um, act on it. Um you know, there's that lovely saying, work while it's light. So when you've got the, the space and the energy and the mm -hmm. time that everything is apparently going okay. Yeah, yeah. Try and 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 um, capitalize on it to learn what to do when it isn't, when you're on the opposite side. So you've got some disciplines and some structures in place to counteract when you're in that trough okay okay you you get up off the sofa and you go and do the bloody washing up yeah right <laughs> right yeah you develop you know, habits, habits you know is that what you mean yeah that's yeah. what i'm saying that, yeah. that, 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 that rather than just go on this roller coaster up and down and up and down and up and down to try and when you're on the up start understanding the down yes so the curiosity part yeah <laughs> So you 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 can start giving yourself some balance, and you know, in a way, what's it called? The golden mean. Yeah. <laughs> that you never go crazy up. Yeah. You never go crazy down. True. Yeah. But the tendency is to do that. But if we can try when we're on the up to balance, then it's more difficult. It's more easy to do that on the up than it is when you're on the down. And also and recognizing how you got yourself back up from the down, from, you know, the bottom of the yes. hill. So yeah. you come to what we're talking about is, yeah. is, is 
getting it out there right it, yeah. it moves you faster it moves you faster out of the trough yes yes you yes. know that yeah. is having done this love and peace thing i don't know how many times it's on the paper probably i don't know 100 mm -hmm. by the time you finish writing it, it you've changed it's changed the mindset right yeah yeah it's changed so you can put it down and you can then start doing something else. Mm -hmm. mm. And, um, you know, in relationship to the, the the lady that you're working with, um, it's really part, probably to help her look at those paintings in a different manner, you know, rather yeah. than to think. <clears throat> I mean, look at, you know, great artists, and some of the paintings that they've done, um, you know, somebody comes to mind, Francis Bacon, for example. <laughs> you know, it's very, his work is very distorted and quite disturbing in many different ways. Um, who's another one that I can think of? Um, what's his name? Um, oh, uh, it'll come to me in a minute. Um, look at uh, Picasso's Guernica. Well, I was just painting. thinking of that one. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, look at the primordial scream, right. Edward Munch. Yes. Oh, we Hieronymus can identify Bosch. Hieronymus Bosch. That's yeah. the one I was yeah. thinking. Yeah. I was trying yeah. to. Yeah, that's really creepy um, and horrible stuff. <laughs> it's really horrific. Yeah. And you know, many of those paintings. You know, if you go into a museum and it's just you know, there's there's beard and there this and that, and look at all those those pa paintings of the religious paintings. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I know. They're I mean, really gruesome as well. Yeah, they're really gruesome. Yeah. Um. So, but then it's balanced up with some beautiful things, and if we haven't got if we haven't got both, you know, life would be we'd all be fast asleep. <laughs> well, yeah, and it, it's you interesting, know. isn't it? It's how you know, you know this idea of contrast um, in life is mirrored yeah. in, in painting as well. You know, the actual physical contrast of color you know and shape yeah. and all that stuff it all gets kind of personified or exa or yeah. made into um made into a two-dimensional or perhaps a three-dimensional depending on what you're doing mm. thing that is a real mirror of what life is about which is yeah those, those black and white moments those you know ups yeah. and downs and so on yeah and and look what we talk about all the time in painting find your contrast yes. find your color values yeah see what's dark see what's light because that that makes up our character those those contrasts yeah. makes us who we are yeah and i mean you know i'm not going to be in any way flippant about any of the horrific things that are going on but there are some people and we saw this again going back as a good example to the ho holocaust there are some people that came out of that with a, a, an attitude to move forward mm -hmm. because in my how i see it for myself you can buy into your story and you can get trapped into self pity and yeah. self, you know, um, what was you know poor always, me, yeah, yeah, poor me, the yeah. the pity party, and it's that's very easy to do to just concentrate on how bad you know the victim mode, right? Or you can switch it, switch the dial. And say what can I take from this? Well, exactly, and that's what I was saying yeah. earlier. Is that you know by by separating yeah. your um, kind of taking yourself out of it in a way, you know, becoming more mm. objective about it and looking at it from the point of view of, oh, isn't this interesting? You know, I'm in this situation. Yeah. This thing is happening to me, mm. and you know, what can I do? What can I learn from it? You know, and it's not yeah. always to do right in that moment. You know, obviously, if it's a crisis mm -hmm. moment and you're having to deal with something very unpleasant or or scary or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. But I think, though, after the, after you have a moment to do that reflection, it's enormously beneficial and powerful to helping you grow and develop and become more resilient. And I think mm -hmm. that that's one of the key things that um, allows, you know, like the Holocaust survivors, as you say, 
they developed an enormous resilience, didn't they? And and yeah, was, huge. Yeah. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. And a huge will yeah. to live, a huge, uh, enormous inner power to keep going and to not give in to that negativity and that mm. oppression and that dark side of human nature that we yeah. are now still witnessing. Yeah. We can all get caught up in it and say, oh my God, look how terrible it is. Look how many people died. Look how many people suffered and, and children and all the rest of it. And it's 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 horrible because you think, well, really, have we ever have we really evolved as human beings, or are we still as barbaric as we were, you know, thousands of years ago when we were, you know, fighting? Well, it's the... it's not it's not that deep under the surface, is it? No, because we've not. Just... <laughs> no, I mean, you know, all of us can fly into a rage if yeah. we're provoked yeah. sufficiently. Okay, yeah. we're not going to go out and murder people, but. Well, some people do. Yeah, <laughs> the majority of us don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but um, you know, it's not that. It's not that deep down in our consciousness because we 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 are basically made up of flight and fight. You yeah. know, <laughs> yeah. so that's the human nature. It's it's the human condition. But you know, I think when we're painting or when we're drawing and we become more aware of it, I think, you know, like we were talking about last week, awareness is the key yes. to educate ourselves to our, our, our consciousness, our awareness. And yes. yes. And our to potential be, to do more and be more. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah definitely. And, and not to get caught out in our stories and therefore become a victim. Yeah. If we can if we can separate ourselves from our stories, okay, you know, we've all had our traumas and our challenges. Yeah. Normal. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I I I I think that's the whole that's our character. <laughs> and I feel that, you know, we're we're missing out. Yeah. If, um if we haven't had trauma because we haven't learned. <laughs> But it's very difficult to know that when you're when you're stuck in the middle of it. So I I feel that um, you know the using drawing, using painting, using art, whatever way, mm -hmm. uh, you know what, what 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 whatever artistic medium, I think is a wonderful way of reflection. Yeah, and becoming aware of yourself and a way of expressing yourself and you know those some of those paintings might turn into amazing paintings you know some of them you might just use you know have have your journal you yeah the journal of it. and I think you know that's why I use a journal is to get rid of all my stuff that's in my head and you know you can either do that with writing or drawing or painting um and I think that's really, really helpful. And I think, yeah, I think it's also nice to think that you can use, you know, if something comes out that seems to be dark and not very, I mean, you know, it just, it's not something positive in one sense or another, in your, in your opinion, you know, you look at it and you go, oh, you know, that's not, that doesn't make me feel good, but you can turn it into something else as you will, you mm -hmm. know, with your other thing. And mm -hmm. add, I was thinking about the layering, you know, the layering aspect of painting to me is becoming more and more um, a, a metaphor for who we are as people, you know, our, our psyche. Okay. Yeah. 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 You know, you start off with this potentially dark under, under layer, you know, something that happened to you, but then you can layer on top of it and put something else on top of it that that sort of soothes the darkness and brings it into a lighter, a lighter area or a lighter feeling. Mm. And it, it's a huge I, I, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And I think, I think that layering is is it. It's like ourselves. It is. You know, we are we are so many layers. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. And yeah. and our emotions can change from one second to another. Right. You know, simply by you know, somebody saying something that might be 
apparently hurtful right our emotions can go from you know here to here yeah can those yeah. die yeah you know somebody criticizes us or somebody says something horrible equally if somebody says something wonderful it goes the other you know, way you can go from here to here so we're we're on this continuous uh, wave of, of of emotions and i think that that shows up in a painting <laughs> yeah so you know your first layer and 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 it's kind of you know you maybe when you're just playing and you're having fun and then it, you think oh god this is an absolute mess <laughs> so you've kind of gone from here to here and then what can I do with it so you start doing things and then it, it starts going up again and it starts looking good and then you do something else and you mess it all up again and you dive down yeah so yeah. yeah it's kind of going through this whole um, ebb and flow of yeah ebb and flow yeah. of, of of and then we land up with it as you know hopefully somewhere in satisfied. the middle yeah <laughs> but the experiences that we've had through the whole the whole um process process yeah yeah it, it is fascinating and and full of ourselves and I think you know that is the beauty of it really so maybe if you are feeling like, you know, this, yes, <laughs> you know, that could be your first layer right. of something. And then as you go, you can move from that horrible, you know, emotional yeah. tangle. Yeah. Right. Chaos. To yeah. Chaos and, and, and horror into something that actually, you know, turns out to be a lotus flower in the end of the day or you know what I mean well yeah even as a color really beautiful yeah if you yeah. took it up and you ripped it up you know or cut it into pieces yeah. and then reassembled it into something that exactly yeah yeah really nice or makes you feel good or whatever yeah as you say. yeah I think that's an interesting exercise for sure yeah yeah and and, and that's why I feel you know not to not to not to judge yourself for it being good or bad mm. pretty or ugly yeah it's none of those things it's far higher than than, than even thinking that it's an emotion which yeah. is valid yeah you yeah. know providing you don't get identified with the emotion yes you know exactly. that's when we get stuck that's, that's when it. we buy into our story and then we get into the victim space so to try and stay open to the possibilities and the process and something creative happens. So yeah. it works. Yeah, I mean, you... it is a process. And, and for some people, it could be a somewhat painful one um, because of uh, certain, you know, the, yeah. feeling, the feelings about the feelings. Do you know what I mean? You know, I, I, absolutely. I yeah. agree. Yeah. 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 You know, you feel bad about feeling angry or you feel angry about being hurt or, you know, mm. you kind of all get yes. mixed up in it. Yeah. 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 And to try to not have yeah. that reaction and just be more of an observer and realize that, you know, I, I am feeling this way. I am not this way. I'm, this is not going to last forever. I mean, one of my favorite mm. expressions is, this too shall pass because nothing, yeah. you know, everything always changes all the time. Um, mm. And, um, you know, it's a moment you're capturing, like your, your drawings are a moment in time, weren't they? They were. Yeah. And that's gone now. And it's gone now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and like, like, like everything else. I mean, so let's not get identified with it. If Absolutely. I get stuck on it, and stuck on the horror and stuck okay those those people going through all that horrific stuff at the moment you know there are going to be some of them there that are going to lead the other people into a new space there are yes. you know you shake the bottle the the, the the bucket yes yes and and they're going to be some stronger people who are more able to deal with it to say okay come on let's go and do this yes and let's go and do this. I mean, if you think about, you know, the, the, even the doctors and the nurses who are faced with it in a different, a whole different way, how are they dealing with it? They've got to have a mindset. Not only have they got to be able to help them 
you know, kill yeah. them or stitch right. them up. Well, they've also got to have the mindset not to get identified emotionally with the trauma because they wouldn't be able to do the job properly. Exactly. And that's true of all, um, you know, trauma care workers, you know, regardless yeah. of the situation. But yes, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So if we could all develop that mindset, mm -hmm. train ourselves into, okay, this horrible thing is happening. And, you know, however large or small it is in our own lives, you know, yes. please God, yes. we never find ourselves in that situation. But if we did, if we trained ourselves sufficiently, we'd be able to handle it. We'd be able to help those people who haven't done that <clears throat> to move forward. Yeah, to guide them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, um, yeah, <clears throat> art, the, the therapeutic aspect of art is is, yes. is a wonderful tool to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sure. yeah. Um, certainly, you know, on the subject of painting our emotions into existence and then letting them go. Yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe we should add that to the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> sort of yeah. get or you know, getting it out there. And once we've got it out there, it's gone. Just for yeah. Well, you know. either, you know, forget about it or look at it from the point of view of, oh, that's how I felt that day at that moment because of this particular yeah. situation. But I'm not there anymore. And mm. I learned from it or yeah. it's in the past. And yeah, you know, everybody, you have to move on, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think a really good way to think about it also is the language that we use to each other used to ourselves yes. and each other mm. but particularly to ourselves is I'm tending to feel right so I'm tending to feel really emotional about this situation um I'm tending to feel really upset about that or distraught about this or happy about this yeah yeah <laughs> because that changes too I, doesn't it <laughs> yeah. yes <laughs> yeah so putting the tending bit in you don't get identified. If you say, I am really upset about this, you're identifying with the upsetness. Right. I'm tending to feel upset about this. Gives you a bit of space to move. Well, it to... also implies that it's not an absolute, you know, it's, it's, um, exactly. it's it could be, yeah. it could be that you feel this way at this moment, but not the next moment. Mm. So it's not a, yeah. it's not a certainty that you are having this feeling, but mm. you know, um, and that it gives you kind of that option to sort of back out of it and say, oh, you know what? I yeah. decide not. I might decide not to have this reaction. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a discipline of our thinking. Going back to what we were saying before, you know, we can if we if we take stock, decide what we think about, decide what we focus on. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And that and, takes discipline. Uh, you're right. It's a discipline. It's a discipline. Yeah. And when you're in the high place practice the discipline so when you're in the low you can bring yourself out of it much right. much easier yes yes i mean it's very much a buddhist um kind of a practice to yeah, develop I, yeah, what they call much. that equanimity the golden you don't yeah have the, the golden highs. mean yeah, yeah you don't have the highs and you don't have the lows, the low, have the lows. Sort of floating mm. somewhere in the middle um you know yeah. and um and that's kind of the ideal, I suppose you might say, mm. is is to go through life like that, if you, mm. you know as much as possible. Yeah. And to give yourself a paradigm shift when you're in that space, is watch somebody, watch a comedian on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And I dare you not to laugh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh God, I've seen some funny ones lately too. Yeah. Who well, was it that said, who reminded me of that was uh, Mo Goa. Oh, yes. When on one of his one of his vid videos, he was saying that, you know, when he was in his bad state, um, he'd always watch, um, what's his name, McIntyre, the comedian, um, before he went to bed. Oh, and right. funnily enough, I've done that myself. On oh, yes. yes. Numerous occasions. Yes. Just to yes. put myself in a better state of mind to go to sleep with. So with a bit of luck, you wake up a little bit more motivated. <laughs> I know, I know, yeah. 
Oh, yes. Well, you see, these are the positive and negative aspects of YouTube, right? You can get really funny things and you can get some not so yeah. funny things, but yes. Michael yes. McIntyre, that's his name. Michael McIntyre. Oh, right. But right. you know, any 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 of them, he's an English, obviously. He's an English um comedian. I, I'm not sure of all the American or other people who are comedians, but whoever makes you laugh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch that and dare yourself not to even smile <laughs> <laughs> so okay um well interesting conversation so we're all going to be drawing madly our emotions this week <laughs> yeah i think that's a great idea because you know i was going to say that apart from what happened you know in the middle east um, and to whatever extent you believe or you don't believe, um, there was a lunar eclipse, I think, last Saturday or Friday night. And right. honestly, I feel that that had an impact on people. It had an impact on me, I think, in the sense that all of a sudden I felt like this ball of something stuck in my chest, you know, and it just happened out of nowhere for no reason whatsoever. And it passed within about 20 minutes and whether or not it's direct related, directly related to that, who knows? But it's almost like there's something going on, you know, just in general on our planet. Yeah. And it's and it, and I think some of these um, these sort of astrological things that happen, a lot of people don't believe them, you know, whether or not they really do have an impact on us individually or as a as a human species. Mm -hmm. I think to me, I think, you know, everything that happens in the world has an impact on us because it's energy, it's vibration. Well, it, um, it it's a ripple things. effect. Yes, a ripple absolutely. Effect. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, that, you know, the more aware we are, the more we feel it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, all right, then. Well, let's see. Um, so we're going to send bring. out all these wonderful vibes to <laughs> yes. everybody. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> Peace and love to, to all. Peace and love to <laughs> all of you. And, yeah, and and, yeah. and you know, if you have um, if you have some stories to share about how how you've seen this in your own situation, do leave it in the comments because you know it would be really interesting to um, to to read and to hear. Yes, and to share and yeah. um, and to share. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, as always, if you liked what you've heard today and you want more then do give us the thumbs up and now we've got i think this is our 17th podcast so we've oh got quite i've a lost lot of track of the numbers but great um yeah. great different discussions on on you know life and how it affects us and how that influences us with our painting and our art so um no uh, press a notification bell to get the next one and um, we will look forward to seeing you next time. All right. So thanks, Eve. Have a good week. And you, let's see what's going to unfold <clears throat> over the next few days. Yes. Please God, there's going to be some resolutions with all kinds of things that are up in the air at the moment. So, um, but for ourselves, ah, nice yes. deep breath. Yes. yes. <laughs> and, and blessings to everyone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, lots Thank of love. You. Same to yeah. you. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye.